Hi, good afternoon. I am Dr. Sweeker, a consultant in pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills. Today we shall touch upon an interesting topic, namely COPD and how exactly it is different from the more common term that is bronchial asthma. First, let us start off with the more familiar term. Bronchial asthma is primarily a disease of the early childhood or adolescence or early adulthood. Most of the patients suffering from bronchial asthma have a trigger which is commonly an allergen which can be present either in the environment or it could be a food related allergy or a medication related allergy or pollen. So the symptoms of asthma are based or they are worsened upon the presence of this trigger and apart from this cold air or any other irritant in the atmosphere can worsen their symptoms. So what are the symptoms of asthma? They include chest tightness or breathlessness, some amount of cough with phlegm production. So these are the symptoms with which a person can present to the outpatient department. On the other hand, COPD which also stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease is more or less a middle age or an elderly age related disease. At least 60 to 70 percent of the patients with COPD are smokers and they also have exposure to different sorts of chemicals or noxious fumes or gases or probably they work in a more polluted environment. So they do have a trigger. Rarely do we find a patient with COPD who has presented to us without any known trigger. The symptoms once again are a little similar to bronchial asthma. They can present with cough with expectoration. This particular symptom is a little more than in the asthmatic. They also present with wheeze and breathlessness and chest tightness. So why is it, I mean, why is it necessary to differentiate between these two conditions? The reason being that the treatment varies between a patient who is suffering from asthma and COPD. Even though both these patients have inhalers, they assume that the drugs are the same, which is not the case. A patient with asthma generally requires inhaled steroids for management of their condition. They can also add on a bronchodilator as and when necessary or oral medications like uh, Montelukast and Levocetrazine for that matter. Whereas a patient with COPD uses the same inhalers but the drugs are a little different, they require a bronchodilator and another set of drugs which are called as anticholinergics. These two can be combined into a single inhaler and uh, we do not use inhaled steroids to a very commonly in a patient with COPD except in a few select conditions. However, both these conditions do have a certain term which is called as exacerbation or a transient worsening over and above the normal baseline which means that the patient develops aggravated symptoms probably with a fever. So this is known as an acute exacerbation of bronchial asthma or COPD. In this situation, the treatment is a little similar for a COPD or an asthma sufferer. Apart from this, a patient with COPD may also benefit from either an oral theophylline or acetophylline or an oral N-acetylcysteine. Both these groups of patients need to take their vaccinations regularly and also a COPD patient definitely should invest time in quitting smoking. He can attend a self-help clinic or visit a specialist who would help him to quit smoking and also maybe an environmental change if at all exposure to gases or fumes was the cause of his COPD. Thank you.